Amy, how are you doing? Most surgeons only talk to their patients before and after the operation, but Dr. E. Antonio Kioka at Ohio State University Medical Center talks to his patients during surgery, and they talk right back. Count to 10, okay? One, two, three, four. Kioka is removing a tumor from this patient and needs to know exactly how much tissue he can cut. The person in the OR that day was Amy Norris. Within 48 hours of her surgery, she was back home and back to playing her violin, something she still remembers how to do, even though she hasn't done it in years. Oh, I just think it's amazing. You know, I know 10 years ago they wouldn't have been able to do that. You know, and it just amazes me that Dr. Kiyoka has that ability. Just by talking to Amy, it's obvious this type of surgery helps, but you can't help but wonder if it hurts. The answer is no. You can do a local anesthetic on the skin, but then the skull and the brain have no pain fibers, and that's why we can operate on them. Doctors will check on Amy every few weeks, but for now, her cancer is gone, and her life is getting back to normal. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting. Now, we have a lot of insults to a brain, and there's a lot of damage that happens as a result of things that we do, uh, and there's a way we can understand how to change that. You know, when our brain aches, we don't really feel pain, but it shows up as mood problems or focus problems or attention problems, right? If, you're, if you have a sore throat, your throat hurts. If you have a toothache, your tooth hurts, right? But if, you're, if your brain hurts, what happens? You have ADD, you have autism, you have depression, you have dementia, you have cognitive loss. These are things that happens to your brain as your system becomes imbalanced. And so what we're going to learn about is how if you change your body, you'll change your brain. The inputs you put into your system create the outputs.